Hello everyone, I'm Janine, a local realtor here in Edmonton Shore Park area. Today I'm talking to you from a different spot than my normal spot. I'm pretty sure there's a wasp in my office and I can't find it and it's freaking me out. So I'm sharing a space with my bulldog. <laughs> so if you hear any like gremlin noises or snoring, snorting, whatever, that's my dog. Apologize in advance. He, he's a loud little guy. So <laughs> I just want to give you a fair heads up. Anyways, let's talk about what we're actually here for. And that's the real estate market in Sherwood Park to see what's been happening. So um, we're about just over a month, well, pretty much going into two months now since the government has um, announced some of their plans to help the housing market. Um, I'll link, I talk about it in a different video, so I'm going to link that in the top corner if you want to learn more about that. But they announced a lot of different plans and initiatives that they're planning on doing. And along with that, there's also been rise in interest rates. So everyone's kind of curious what's, what's happening with the market and what's been going on. So let's take a little bit of a deeper look. Okay, so overall in Sherwood Park. Um, still about the same kind of amount active, slight increase in total sales and not much inventory, less than a month worth of inventory. The average selling price has decreased slightly, um, but that, it's not a huge issue there. And I'll show you why, uh, average days on market pretty much the same, just, just over two week point. So let's look. If you watched my video um, about the Edmonton market, why is Sherwood Park so different? This is why. We still have really low inventory in Sherwood Park. There's just not that much for sale. There's not much option and there's a lot of demand. So when the demand is high and the supply is low, that helps push increases in pricing. It shortens the days on market so as you can see there's still quite a bit going at or over list price in Sherwood Park so even overall though that the, there's been a slight dip in the average price that doesn't necessarily mean anything it could just mean maybe there is more homes that sold just at a lower price point since it is such a small difference overall the price has increased quite a bit in Sherwood Park and that's purely from supply. So if you are a seller in Sherwood Park, um, it's still a really great time to list just because you, you just don't have competition. There's not much out there. So what, what about the condo market? Is that the same in Sherwood Park? Let's take a look. So the condo market has a much healthier range of inventory. Uh, the price has increased a bit and average days on markets kind of remain consistent from April. But the price overall has been increasing since like the start of the year. And basically for this is probably because there is just so much low inventory for single family homes that a lot of people are going into the condo market. So let's take a look at some of the closer numbers. So yes, a healthy range of inventory. Not much is going at or over list price for the condo market. So overall, the condo market's remaining pretty consistent. So if you're um, selling a condo in Sherwood Park, remember competitive pricing is key, showing your home in the best possible light. And if you're a buyer, you this is your opportunity to get into Sherwood Park without all the competition of uh, single family homes, for example. So if you have any questions or if you wanna go over this in a little bit more depth, I'm always happy to answer any questions. And until next time, see you.